once again to my YouTube channel. Right, uh, I wanted to do a video tonight about something very special to me, and that is my favourite pedal. My favourite guitar pedal of all time, in fact. Uh, and what pedal is that? Well, you saw a little bit of it on the intro there. Uh, it is the Digitech Whammy pedal. And why do I like this one so much? Well, you can just do so much with it. It's ridiculous. And um, this one in particular is the original WH1, says the WH1 Whammy pedal, the first iteration of it. And quite sought after now, these things are getting quite expensive on the old reverb, if, uh, if my research uh, serves me correctly. So that's not why I love it though. Why I love it though is just because it creates the most mad sound uh, and is, is beautifully controllable and interactive and you can just have such fun with it. It's ridiculous this thing. Um, so I mean, you know, most of you who are probably watching this already well know exactly what this is. You'll have heard it a million times, recognised the sound of it instantaneously on the songs that you might have heard it on. And but let's have a little talk about it specifically from a technical point of view for those who maybe don't know uh, what it is so it is a whammy pedal what does that mean well it's fundamentally this is a pitch shifting device and it does that in two different ways um it has two sections on it basically in this little bit here where you can see the control uh, and on one side it says harmonize or harmony Yes, harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the other side, it says whammy. And they do; they both do very different things, actually. On the harmony side of it, uh, you've got various different settings for that. Uh, it basically adds a layer of harmony to the original signal. So you hear your original pitch guitar, and then you hear a harmonised pitch over the top. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a little listen to that. Now, shall we? It sounds like this. Okay, and then you've got the other section, which is this here, the uh, the whammy section. In fact, there's also a detune section, but you know what? I'm not even going to bother talking about that because I never use that, and I don't know if anybody does. It sounds a bit weird. It just makes your guitar sound out of tune. I don't know, I don't know if you want that, if you like that. Maybe if you like... Uh, uh, what's his name from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know, John Frusciante likes an out of guitar from time to time, doesn't he? Maybe he like this one. Yeah, so what happens there is you, you, all it's doing is affecting the main signal. You don't hear any harmony over the top, but what you do get is your, your full signal, your main signal, pitched uh, and pitch shifted when you apply the treadle. So, weep, 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 weep sort of effect uh, and yeah I mean that's the thing you'll have heard this thing used for the most if you've if you've heard anything I mean some notable users of this pedal you've got guys like Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine and or Audio Slave uh, and he's used it well on both and it's very famous for using this pedal um, I mean the dude's literally got two and a half pedals on his pedal board and this is one and a half of them uh, who else has used it? Well, Dimebag, Dimebag Durrell of Pantera, uh, another fantastic, uh, famous user of this pedal, uh, and some of his uses of this were ridiculous. I mean, just some naughty, dirty guitar work there. Uh, who else? Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, uh, Jack White of the White, Jack White of the White Stripes. So, David Gilmore, I'll be honest with you, you know, he's used this for some weird stuff, I'm not quite sure what, but... Uh, but I'll be honest with you, I think my fav my most favourite person who uses one of these quite frequently is Matthew Bellamy from Muse. You've probably heard me mention him a few times on some of my videos. I have a bit of a penchant for Muse. Uh, and yes, he uses this to great effect on a great many tunes. Uh, so check him out if you haven't heard him. Have a look. So anyway, yeah, my favourite pedal of all time ever. Uh, if you've never tried one, I highly recommend you do. There were lots of other versions of this that later came along later. The one me two, the one me three, the four, the five, the nine, the twelve, the fourteen, the three hundred. I can't remember. There's a bunch of them now, and some massive ones, uh, and some ones for bass and all that. None of them are as good as this one. This one has that kind of mojo glitchiness and weirdness that uh, is is making it become all the more desirable as it gets rarer uh, because it's also not particularly well made, and these things tend to get battered. So anyway, yeah. My favourite pedal of all time ever, the Digitech Whammy WH1. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any questions about pedals or guitars, amplifiers, you know, me cats, whatever you want to ask about, you know, uh, leave a comment underneath and I'll uh, most likely uh, respond to it because I don't have a life and I'll live for the comments. So please leave a comment. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Good evening.